An antibody is a giant macromolecule, about 1,000 times bigger than aspirin. This is how it's usually depicted, a Y-shaped structure with crests and creases. Well, this doesn't say much about what it does, doesn't it? Now, imagine that an antibody was not at all a molecule, but an animal. This is what it would be, a double-headed guard dog. If you think that the comparison with dogs is a bit strange, well, you may not know that dogs can diagnose different types of cancer just by smelling a patient's breath. Doing the same job that a diagnostic antibody could do, but only in very specific cases. Dogs and antibodies are amazing in similar ways. First of all, they have this incredible capacity to recognize and bind unique molecules with very high specificity and very high affinity. The noses of our double-headed dogs, that's the amazing part, correspond to antigen binding fragments or FABs in antibodies. If we're talking about drugs, these are the regions that actually bind to the therapeutic target. They're different in each different type of antibody. For example, Herceptin FABs are unique in their capacity to bind the human epidermal growth factor receptor 2, also known as the HER2 receptor. Take a look at the perfect match between the Herceptin FAB, that's the blue-green region here, and its target HER2, that's the pink fragment. Isn't it incredible? Recognition in both dogs and antibodies also means binding. Very, very, very tight binding. The second thing that is amazing in antibodies and guard dogs is their capacity to communicate to their surroundings that they have found their target. Our double-headed dog will wag its tail and grab. Antibodies will signal their binding using the stem region, called fragment crystallizable or FC region. FC regions are the same for every class of antibodies, but optimizing the signaling capacity is a major issue in antibody production. The fact that Roche's Glycomab strain engineering technology is exclusively focusing on maximizing such signaling illustrates this importance. If the target is the HER2 receptor found on cancer cells and the pharma company that produces the antibody is Roche, the drug we're talking about is Herceptin, the parent antibody of Catsyla. As we'll see in the next clip, making Katsyla is like training dogs to do amazing tricks. It is an art.